In the public sector, the failure of government to meet the pension expectation of retirees has shattered the plans of many as well as inducing economic trauma, which in some cases has led to fatalities. Stories abound of senior citizens who had collapsed and died while in queues waiting their pensions. Government must put its act together and pay pensions and entitlement as these has become a major challenge. Galaxy TV Bosa Nyakasag has details in this report. It was an ability to address the non-payment of pensions that the Pension Reform Act of 2004 was enacted. The act covers both public and private sector employees. The Contributory Pension Scheme, CPS, was introduced to replace the Defined Benefit Scheme, DBS. Under the new regime, both the governmental companies and the workers themselves had to save up a given amount of their earnings towards building up an accumulated fund reserve, which they could fall back on after retirement. That we are really suffering. You see, some of us retired 2017, 2018, 2019, at least. Some of us have stayed for seven good years, no pension, no gratuity, no salary, nothing. Come to talk about gratuity and pension. That is something that is, is, is not supposed to be toyed with. Because it seems uh, that uh, a senior citizen in Kaduna State particularly is not regarded. I think many, because of this now, many cannot take care of themselves. It is only by the grace of God that some of us are still surviving. While it is noteworthy that PENCOM has helped to grow the fund as well as a more prudent management, there are still issues that are yet to be resolved by the government regarding many retired civil servants as retirees in Kaduna State are faced with lack of accessing their benefit more than seven years after leaving active service. We are not happy. We serve our dear state for good 35 years. No payment, no pension, no gratuity, nothing. We are dying. Is it simply we serve the state for good 35 years and you cannot pay us? Like you have li rightly said that the, the money is de depreciated very, very high. That how can you imagine a mudu of rice is above 1,000 naira, 1, naira. How uh, we cannot afford. And the worst thing is that even when government is saying that they are giving palliatives, they never remember us. Complications in meeting up with the pension obligation had risen fundamentally by the failure to link those in the old scheme DBS with those in the new scheme CPS. For the average retiree, he just wants to receive his entitlement, which they say is not forthcoming, making them more vulnerable. And I challenge anybody to come and I will tell them the statistics on daily basis of people that are dying. We don't need this system in Kaduna State. Contributory pension scheme is a scam in this country. It's not only the police. Retirees in Kaduna State are pleading with the government to help reduce their suffering as a matter of urgency by providing them with adequate care and support to senior citizens. The system starts from the Bureau. I, I, I believe as a professor, when you arrive at the position of a professor, it means that you are capable of solving problems. Please let us ask the professor at the Biru, what problems has she solved as it relates to CPS? Let, let us ask her as a professor, what, what, what is it that she has actually advised? Because honestly, I cannot blame Ubasani. Obasani only inherited this nonsense. Sadly, 19 years after the CPS was launched, only four states, Lagos, Oshun, Kaduna and Delta, and the Federal Capital Territory are paying pension under the scheme.